Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Ishani and as a design team member for Craft Angles, I have a fun tutorial for using Craft Angles pattern paper called Super Kids. These are some quick and easy ideas to use those pattern papers you've kept in your stash and get them out for some card making. This paper pack that I'm using is called Super Kids and comes in 6x6 and 12x12 size. They are 160 GSM in weight and every pack has 24 sheets, two of each design. And look at how cute and different they are. The possibility of using them are endless. But I thought I'll use them on cards today. For the first card, I will use this sheet with boom, wow, boing, all the action sounds printed. And I'm taking two alphabet dies P and A to cut out Papa. I have cut side folding A2 sized card from dual texture cardstock for the base of my card. And I cut craft angles aqua blue cardstock with a stitched rectangle die. For some interest, I'm blending distress oxides in blueprint sketch and salty oceans. I'm sorry, I forgot to record that part, but I used the darker color on the sides and lighter for the inner part. So it's a gradient from light to dark, from the inside to outside. I have die cut alphabets from pattern paper as well from a heavy card stock. To glue them together for some body and then arrange it on my ink blended panel. I align them and stick them with glue. I have the cutouts which I adhere back. Though now I feel that without those bits it was better. For the sentiment I am cutting the speech bubble, you are my hero from another sheet. And then I adhere my panel to the white card base with foam tape. And my speech bubble on top right corner with foam tape again. Isn't that a cool Father's Day card? Or maybe a card you give to your father just like that? Or you could cut dad? Or mom too for Mother's Day card. Or why not bro for your brother. There are endless possibilities. You just have to think whom do you think as your hero. For the next card I am going to use this pattern paper where I am going to cut out this boy and give him some motion. So it will be a slider card. For this I am cutting out all the three big elements from this card. The speech bubble, the boy and the buildings, just at the edges. I noticed that the boy's body is a little flimsy because the paper is not very heavy. So to give him some structure and body, I am going to use a heavyweight cardstock. I trace out the boy with the pencil and I will cut it just inside my pencil mark. I will have another piece of white paper traced just like that and I will stick all these three layers together. Wherever I see the white paper is peeping out, I am going to cut it out with scissors. If I were to do it again, I would probably use a black cardstock and this is what I recommend because white is very stark and gets noticed because my card design is a little dark. But to cover it, I am going to use a black pen and go around my boy's body. For creating the background, which is this sky in red, I am taking ruby red cardstock by Craft Angles and sunburst stencil. I adhere my stencil with washi tape and ink a darker red color, which is velvet by Altenew, through my stencil. This will create the similar sky that was on the pattern paper. So actually we are not changing any design of the pattern paper, we are just giving the boy a little motion so that he looks like a super boy. 
Now that all the elements were ready, we need to create the mechanism for creating the slider card. For which you can use a very sharp knife and cut out a thin rectangle or you could use a die which is specifically made for cutting out slider portion. Don't throw away its negative because we are going to use it. Now for final assembly, I am going to use midnight cardstock which is a heavyweight cardstock 250 GSM by craft angles and I cut a side folding note card which is just a little big which is just a little bigger than our red panel. I adhere my buildings with glue on the lower side of the red panel. And over the black cardstock, I adhere the negative of our die cut slider mechanism. This way there is continuity of the design. Coming to the mechanism, I take a small black color die cut and insert it inside my first layer. Then I take a three dimensional tape which is a small foam tape and adhere it on that black circle. Then I take a white piece of cardstock and make a sandwich. So we have two layers of cardstock, black and white and a foam square inside. And on this I will adhere my Superboy with help of glue. I am using glue because it is very forgiving and you can move around until you are happy. With glue I adhere the speech bubble flying by to say hi. As if the boy was saying the same while he was flying. And here is an interactive card. A perfect gift for a little boy who thinks of flying in the air and saving the world. I hope you liked this way of stretching a pattern paper and making an interactive card yourself. And now is the time for the curl bar. I take this cute curl from this pattern paper and the sentiment thanks for your super pass. I cut these two out and on a card base which is top folding A2 size note card out of dual texture cardstock by craft angles. On the smooth side, I am going to stencil some clouds. I am taking craft angle blender brushes and tubby craft ink for my soft clouds. This is by far the simplest, the cleanest and the quickest card to be made. Now that the sky background was ready. I wanted my girl to fly for which I take sunburst stencil again and with yellow color I just ink some yellow ink which would depict that there is motion beneath her cape. I adhere my super girl just above the rays with glue and for the sentiment I am using 3D foam tape. And here is a lovely clean and simple card to thank somebody for their super pass. I hope you liked my ideas and will give this tutorial a thumbs up and also are inspired to use your stash of pattern papers. I have linked the supplies that I have used in this tutorial in the blog post in the description box below. If you are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for some more crafting ideas and ways to stretch your supplies. Thank you very much for stopping by and for all the love. Have a great day. Happy crafting. Bye bye.